Siempre real y sincero Y sincera la música Con amor verdadero Welcome to the Empathy Hour with myself, Amreen and Pam Hi Pam Hi dear, you always get me first every week, don't you dear? Because you're right in front of me <laughs> There's no one else that's in front of me. And if I sit at this side, see so you're going to turn your side. So it's then better I will do have it to turn my side, yeah. 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 We have got a guest in today and he's killing himself with laugh, isn't oh, he? Oh, yeah. We yeah. better introduce him before we um, talk about anything else, Pam. What, where do we, though? Sorry? Do we, though? Do I need to... In- yeah. Of course you do. Yeah. yeah. And what? To t- let the whole world know... Sh- is- shall I, well, shall I introduce him? Yeah, as long as they all know he's my adopted son. Okay, you can mention that. Yeah. Well, we have uh, T with us today, who's an artist and filmmaker, I believe. Yes? Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. And assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. You didn't teach me that. <laughs> assalam. Assalam. Oh. Oh. Alaikum. Alaikum. I'm supposed to be your mother. And yet you didn't even... And it's t- Pam's adopted son, by the yes. way. Yes. Hi, Ma. <laughs> Darling, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how we do it, right? With moms, it's like, hi, Ma. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Mm. We, mm. I think we say the words after we do the action. That If you notice, kids, they always run to mom first, and then they will hug them. Then, then they will say, say mom. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. As it's what a, you just did. Yeah. 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 Mm. It's just a that's natural true. reaction. Yeah. Mm. So, Pam, before we talk to T... Last week we had quite an interesting show, didn't we? We talked about Wills. It was quite an intense show, to be honest with you. Yes, it is. I know that my son is here. He can also give some input because he sees all of these things as well. So the reason why we talk about Will as well, it is on the increase. In our community, the Asian community, we don't tend to be putting a lot of these into place for when we passed away mm. and also the difficulty what we can have when they passed away. And we talk about being an executor for a will as well. Mm. So executor means to do you carry out your parent wish. But can I ask you a question, my son? Mm-hmm. Why is it in the Asian and black community that we do not put will in place or preparate our children for when we go? It's a really good point because I think it stems from the the cultural dynamics, isn't it? Mm. In before death was seen as a transcendence, if you from go back one a thousand, life to another, yeah, and that's what it is. Is nothing to be afraid of. It's just uh, a taste, but the knowledge that's been omitted from our mainstream courses. So now death is seen as something that. Y- everything finishes and everything stops right there Mm. and that fear that that's been built up over the years and then the cultural influences came in so that masked the entire traditional mindset so tradition is something that lasted for for millions of years and Mm. then cultures they evolve isn't it so the cultural aspect has covered it now if you go to an asian or black community and you start talking about death first thing they do is they get oh don't talk about that Mm. don't talk about that it kind of like shuts you off almost straight away like oh i can't talk about that but in reality i think our five senses they are basically like a glass i mean a pair of glasses like you put them on Mm. so you're seeing whatever you are seeing through the glasses so anything that's in focus that's how you experience when you are in the physical body but the moment the physical five senses are stopped. Mm. The closest you can get is all of us, we kind of experience death every night when we go to sleep. Of course. So Definitely. then, yeah. And then you, your five senses, physical senses are then stopped. So your soul or the actual you is traveling and then you can meet people. You can travel yeah. dif- between different worlds. Within like two, three hours, you're back. Mm. And which is physically impossible. So if we mm. teach kids that the basic... Spiritual dimension yeah. of like being a human being. Yeah, mm. yeah. it's because beyond. We, I mean, as Muslims, we believe we have a spirit. Yeah. And I believe Christians believe that too. Yeah. Um, but so. a lot of us just don't want to talk about death. And this is why we need to put things into place where there's a will. 
Yeah, because mm. if you don't put that in and you've got children, yeah. you know, the authority, the government and everybody will take over no matter what money you own a property mm. or houses yeah. you've got. And the reality of the situation is that we do have to have certain things in place. Yeah. Um, and have you also noticed now when your family, your mom, your dad passed away and you've got siblings, they all seem to be fighting for something. Oh, yeah. mm. I'm, I'm seeing so much of it at the moment, Pam, as well. Everyone's just fighting over whether it's money, land, property, whatever, you know, it's just a constant thing. And I, and I keep thinking to myself, we're not going to take anything with us. We didn't born with anything. Yeah, we like come you were saying, we were yeah. naked when we were born. Yeah. 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 So. But my parents always tell me, I didn't buy the house belongs to them mm. or didn't buy them a car. They work for it, yeah. you know. And my parents always tell me um, that God says, you know, Mother got his own, father got his own, and God bless the child that got their own. So what my parents said do not belongs to me. Mm. It's what I work for mm -hmm. that belongs. But we seem to be fighting over little yeah. petty things. Yeah, and another thing we were talking about, Pam, was um, before we are born, when we're in the mother's womb, our, our destiny is written in terms of our, what we're going to get financially. You know, we, in our, in, we say risk. Mm-hmm. It's already written for us, so why are we fighting over something that's already written? Well, that's greed again. It's boiled down to just greed and money, and I just let them get on with it. Mm. It's no point we're going to fight each other, siblings, brothers, sisters, mm. for something what our parents do, because they put a will into place. Mm -hmm. So as a family and children, we're supposed to respect mm. their wishes, but if we're going to go and start fighting and they're not even down in the ground yet mm -hmm. or being cremated and we're fighting for this, what mm -hmm. is the point? Get on with it. Yeah. But a will is more important. It was a really good topic and we hopefully will be having Farhan back in the studio, hopefully, once lockdown is over. We can have him in the studio and we can talk about other things such as probate. And is it lasting power of lasting attorney? Lasting power and attorney and probate. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah. And we'll the other one is immigration. Yes, we do yes. want to talk about immigration yeah. as well because a lot of changes going on from the government side as well around immigration, obviously with EU changes as mm -hmm. well. And um, there's lots of new laws coming in. So I think we need to be aware of what's happening. So after the, say, the Christmas holiday, we'll be having yeah. these people in mm -hmm. to come in and talk about last and of attorney, Definitely. probate and immigration as well, how it affects us as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think we should now talk to Tal. What do you think, Pam, <laughs> before our break? Shall we, shall we find out what, who Tal is and what he does? Yeah, right, son. You can go on then. I know you can speak in... <laughs> so, <laughs> Tal, yeah. I've just been looking at your amazing artwork, mashallah, it's absolutely beautiful. And, um, you know, if you're a, a person who appreciates art, that is art, Thank for you. sure. Thank so, you. well done. I, um, I'm really impressed with your creativity. Um, so, tell us, like, what inspired you to become an artist? Wow, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, bit of a tough question. It's a tough question, yes. Or what I've, inspires you to do your art, should I say? Because, hmm. yeah, I think... That's a different question. It's a different question, yes. Okay, so the first part of the question is how... I think all of us, we are born with the ability to create because mm. we have the attributes of mm. the Almighty and one of his attributes is Al-Musabir, means someone who fashions it. Mm. So someone who creates it, that's a, a creator, can be an innovator, it can be an entrepreneur. But then someone who fashions it and adorns it, and that's mm. a musabir. And because mm. we are the vicegerent of the Almighty, he created us as a khalifa. So he has put all these qualities inside. But mm. you have to look inward to be able to appreciate the beauty outwards. Wow. I like I like tell. You do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's very spiritual. And I can see there's a lot of spirituality in your inspiration as well. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's, that's the essence of art. Mm. Once you tend to know the metaphysical mm. parts of the, the life, then you can get inspired from pretty much anything. Yeah. Like there's a dark side in, in, uh, on the, uh, I mean, if you look at the, the white side or the bright side, there's also a dark side. Mm. And within the dark side, you have these two branches coming out. Either you 
make it into a satire, which is more like a slapstick comedy or like a comic art, mm-hmm. which 